Sam is part of Lord Commander Gior Mormont's great ranging beyond the wall. After traveling for months and passing several abandoned wildling villages, they reach Craster's keep. Craster is an unsavory ally of the Watch who marries his daughters and apparently has no sons. Craster tells them that the wildlings are gathering under King Beyond the Wall Man's Raider. Sam calls off Ghost, John's direwolf, when he comes near Gilly, one of Craster's wives. Gilly calls Sam brave. Sam takes her to John for help rescuing her unborn child from Craster, but John refuses to disobey their orders to stay away from Craster's wives. John later follows Craster into the woods and sees him leaving a newborn boy for the White Walkers. Craster spots him and incapacitates him. Craster drags John back to his keep and demands that the watch leave. Sam becomes infatuated with Gilly, vowing to return and rescue her. They march to the Fist of the First Men and Sam is amazed at the ancient fortification. Sam assumes John's responsibilities as steward to the Lord Commander so that John can accompany Corin Halfhand scouting the Skirling Pass. The party does not return and are believed dead but Sam refuses to give up hope. He finds a cache of dragonglass weapons buried at the Fist while working with Gren and Ed. While collecting dung for fuel, the companions hear three horn blasts, signaling white walkers. In a panic, they rush back to the fist, but the slower Sam is left behind after tripping in the snow. As an eerie blizzard rolls in, Sam takes shelter behind a rock. He watches as armed whites and white walkers approach out of the snow. A white walker mounted on a dead horse notices Sam, but appears to ignore him, ordering the whites towards the fist. 